I'm Dave Wilkes. I work at Rusty Speedworks, Boas Motors. My background is fabrication and mechanics. Being here just gave me a really good opportunity to do something I, you know, I was getting tired of building drill rigs. Yeah. It was getting boring. To jump at the opportunity to work on cars, build cars, get another ticket um, was, you know, I couldn't turn it down. This is our 61 Willys Jeep we built. Basically, we took a 61 Willys, stretched it, put a big diesel, and a whole lot of tires. I really liked building the frame and mounting the engine in there and all that sort of thing. Our uh, customer, he really liked diesel engines, so when we were figuring out what to build, uh, Les and I, and the customer, we, he just said he'd like a diesel. We didn't tell him what we were going to do. And we just decided there's only one diesel that's a Cummins diesel. It's the only way to go with a Jeep. It needs to have something big and loud and lots of torque. It's a Cummins 12 valve diesel with a VE mechanical pump. Very, very basic motor. It's 160 horse, and somewhere it's around four or 500 foot-pounds of torque. And the 4,500 five-speed transmission, which we got all the engine and transmission. We discovered this is really long. <laughs> so we made a very short drive shaft to attach. We just sort of made it happen. So the axle in front of the rad was on purpose. At first, there, it was just making things work. The rear suspension is stock CJ or Willie's Jeep. There's a leaf spring. It's still the original pack. Um, as far as we know, it was on the truck when we first got it. We used the F250 Dana 60s, so big beefy axles. The front end is a leaf style suspension. It's based on early 20s Ford. They all came with this transverse leaf um, and then the four link to the axle. So it's, they, they would call it a suicide because if any one portion breaks, the frame dives. That's why it's overbuilt also. I mean, we made it way bigger than necessary. Those big axles with the a kit you could purchase to do the leaf spring wouldn't work. It would just look too wimpy and it wasn't strong enough. I mean, that big heavy motor needs big heavy axles and big springs. And... It's not four wheel drive, <laughs> even though we have a front axle out of a four wheel drive on it. Uh, the, it was mostly built as a street rod, not meant to go off road. Uh, and the owner, he liked the first pictures we showed him of what we were planning were big mud tires, um, but the same street cars. Uh, and then the just rear wheel drive, I mean, we could have built a 4x4 rig, but it would have been a totally different vehicle, right? It would have been an off-road Jeep. We wanted something lower, closer to the ground. It would have been nice to make it even lower, but Unfortunately, you can't. 35 inch tires are 35, so it's going to be big. And then we kind of wanted like something to cruise around in, do some burnouts if you want, uh, just a street cruiser, go to some car shows. It's not really meant for climbing. 
We constantly get questioned about the front differential. People don't get what's happening there. And it takes a while to realize there's no drive shaft and there's no pinion left on it. And it's basically just a shell with some, with the gears in it. There's nothing left there. It's not like a death trap so much. <laughs> if you're hard on the throttle, then you need to pay attention to what you're doing. It goes pretty fast. So. Uh, it's really torquey. The Jeep is our SW003. 001 is still in the works of being built. Another project, our SW02. 1969 Datsun 521 pickup, which has a SR20 turbo in it. And then our SW04 is another Datsun, which we mounted a 1.6 liter Volkswagen Jetta diesel into. Currently has a record deck on it. It's about our lifestyle here. And we enjoy it and not every day is fun, but not every day is bad either. More good days than bad. So. It's all about life <laughs> and having fun. Perfect. Yes.